Hello, my name is Steve Bowler, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at default routing. Specifically with default routing, we're going to be taking a look at how to set up default routing on Juniper routers. So in this example, just like if you have seen static routing, my Juniper static routing lab, we're going to be using the same exact network and the same topology, the same IP addresses, the same everything. So you're probably asking yourself, well, why are you doing this lab? Why didn't you just add it to the static routing lab? Well, the static routing lab was about 40 minutes, and I just wanted to break these up because I know that watching a hour-long or hour and 15-minute long video is very hard to do. So I've broken it up for you guys to make it easier to digest everything going on. And it kind of gives you a sense of accomplishment, right? If you get one video done, it feels good. So that's why, you know, like I broke this into two different video series. I have the default routing, and then I have a static routing. Anyway, enough about why I did that. And what I'm going to teach you is, in this lab, is how to set up default routing. Again, we're going to just get the basic configuration between R1 and R2 going. And then I'm going to show you and explain default routing and why you would use it and how to configure it. So let's get to R1. Let's go into R1 and let's go ahead and set up the basics. So the first thing we're going to do on R1 is we're going to set up the logical systems. We're going to use we're going to do that by doing the command set logical systems R1. We're going to create the interface LT120. We're going to create the logical tunnel. The logical interface on this is going to be 12. It's going to be part of the family INET with the address of see if I can move this for you with the address of 12.12.12.1 the next thing we want to do is create our peer unit so again our peer unit is going to be 21 I'm going to explain this one second let me just go ahead and get all of this configuration in and I'll go ahead and explain exactly what these commands are doing. So I thought I would, again, use the same topology as the static.